Y'all, today's a real exciting day because uh, I'm getting a new tattoo. You might have already been able to notice that I have quite a few, but today I'm gonna be finishing up this extra space on my forearm to finally have a completed half sleeve. Now, if I'm being honest, my appointment's in less than an hour and I still don't even know what the design looks like, uh, nor am I ready. <laughs> I look like an absolute mess, so I have literally less than an hour to shower, eat, walk my dog, and get ready. Hopefully I have time to explain everything in the car, but let's just go get ready. I just touched down here. Um, I am like two minutes late, but it's not that bad. He's still setting up right now. He said, uh, I got my water, I got my AirPods, I got everything I need, so I am ready to go. But yeah, just to quickly explain, because I didn't really get a chance to when I was running out the house. The real reason I haven't seen the design yet for the tattoo is because, well, I mean, that's usually how we work. I sent him, I sent him inspo this week, probably like two, three days ago, and he usually shows me the sketch um, the day I show up, and then we kind of tweak the design from there if there's any tweaking needed. And yeah, I don't know. In total, we probably spent 30 hours together in that chair uh, tattooing, so he really does know what I like, my style, and usually comes up with a hit, so. We're about to run in there and really get our first impressions on the design, what I'm getting on my body forever. So stay tuned with me and let's see how this turns out. I left the feet out for now, but mm -hmm. I could just draw those in. Okay. I, I didn't know if we we're gonna have like the roots like overlapping and stuff right. like that. So we'll with it. Yeah. We'll with it. But the minute you sent me the crane, I was like, yeah. Like not to say that the the Phoenix is bad or anything, mm -hmm. but like, I feel like you see this less. I know you don't want to go down the same path. Right, exactly. That's <laughs> that's my whole thing. Would you prefer to have this take up as much space as possible? Yeah, realistically, yeah. And then everything else is just background, basically. Yeah, so I'll probably have, because right now we have like a nice triangular shape right here that we can throw some of those roots coming down. Might try one more a little bit bigger. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to print one a little bit larger than this. And then uh, we'll step over to the mirror and take a look at those two and see which one. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. This is the smaller one here. Yeah, it fits like real, like real nice with the tree here. Right. But yeah, this will leave us room for the roots here. Mm -hmm. This guy over here. It fills up more space, mm -hmm. but I think in comparison to like with the dragon as well, it doesn't necessarily make sense. Why? Portion wise, this one gives a little bit more wiggle room as far as like adding some background. Yeah. Because we kind of did that with the other two feet. Right. Well, throw some of those roots coming down this way. Okay. The flow this way. And then possibly if we do want to do that rising sun right but that here with some of the rays coming down this way yeah that would be super dope small clouds mm -hmm. around yeah i love that idea okay yo okay so you guys see the idea you see the plan we always start with a very uh, simple sketch um and then yeah try to like freehand some stuff build it out so right now this crane was really just the main point of the tattoo we're gonna build off this previous tattoo and try and bring the roots to the rocks give a nice little loop and then on that back side with the open space maybe do some clouds a rising sun just encapsulate that full japanese vibe sounds like a dope thing it's time for execution though so just that good this come along you'll see how it turns out it's gonna be fire So guys, John whipped up a fire design and he did it all freehand in about 15 minutes or so. And once that was finished, this is what the final stencil was looking like. At this point, I'm mad excited and ready to get this done. But first, I do have to be honest with y'all, I didn't end up filming most of the tattoo session because let's be honest, sitting through watching me get a full four hour tattoo isn't exactly thrilling content. But here is a quick clip of John just finishing up the tattoo with a little bit of color to finish this piece off. This tattoo is finished and wrapped up, so I'll see you guys in a few days when it's time to take off the bandage. All right, y'all, so it's been about three days since I finished my sleeve up, and I figured it was about time to give you guys an update. But first off, we gotta give a huge shout out to John because he did his thing with this tattoo, as always. Let me tell y'all, John, he really is a legend. Every time I sit down with him for a session, it's always a smooth experience. His shop is chill, he's a cool dude. So it really just makes for a great experience overall. And I know a lot of y'all aren't local, but if you guys are near Windsor, that is near Detroit, if you guys are American, I definitely think it's worth the trip to drive down and get a little bit of work down with my boy. 
So if you guys do want to check him out, I'll make sure to leave his Instagram link in the description below. And as for the pain level, I'd probably say it was about a 4 out of 10. You know, nothing that I'm not too used to at this point. And I'm not even joking, at some point I was so relaxed that I, I actually fully dozed off and fell asleep for a little bit. John had told me after the session that he noticed me jerk. And when he looked up, he, he just saw me out cold. So, so that right there is definitely a funny moment I wish I got on camera. Because it's definitely a good side if you're comfortable enough to fall asleep while getting tatted. All in all, the pain wasn't too intense. Nothing that I'm not used to. But uh, now is the time that I've been dreading and not looking forward to the most, which is taking off this bandage. If you've ever had a tattoo personally, then you know that taking off the bandage is probably the worst part of the whole tattoo experience. But hey, it's gotta be done, so let's get to it. I'm really excited to just show you guys the final results of this half sleeve, so let's go ahead and take this bandage off. So guys, here it is, my completed half sleeve. Just to break it down a little bit, this whole piece was designed in three separate parts. The first part starts on the outer part of my forearm, which is my stairway to Oasis. This right here represents my happy place. A tranquil, peaceful vibe that I can escape to mentally. And it's just kind of a reminder of myself to stay grounded and centered, no matter how crazy the world is around me. Then moving on to the second piece on the inner part of my forearm, we got my water dragon. This flows so seamlessly from the waterfall on the first piece, adding a dope sense of flow and motion to the inside of my forearm. A little bit of backstory, I was born in 2000, making me the year of the dragon, which is kind of why I went with this piece in particular. Beyond that, the water element itself symbolizes spiritual growth, transformation, and adaptability, which to me is the symbol of development and self-discovery, which is definitely something that I try to focus on in my daily life. And finally, the third piece that just brings everything together, we have the roots coming out of the floating oasis which connects to a crane soaring over a rising sun the crane itself is a symbol of longevity but when paired with the rising sun it symbolizes wishing for a long and happy life and in my opinion this just kind of balances out the full scene and really caps off this half sleeve in such a nice way now as for what's next I'm low key thinking I want to start on my stomach, which I've heard is super painful, but I'm really always up for a challenge. If you guys enjoyed this video and want some more tattoo content, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see a little bit more of this beautiful face, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, I love you guys for all the support. I hope you have a great day. Peace.